A tough one. I mean, we knew depth um, is not one of our strengths going into postseason. And, you know, you got four guys that foul out. Um, you know, they attempt more free, they make more free throws than we attempt. Um, it's just tough. And, you know, our best player tweaks his groin on the tip and he's not able to play half the game. I mean, I was proud of how we fought. I mean, we're putting guys in the game in positions they've never been before. We're just trying to throw something at a wall and see what sticks. And I mean, you, even to end statistically outside of the free, free throw differential, you know, having 20 assists, seven positive assist turnover ratio, holding them to 41% from the floor and having plus nine on the boards, it's usually good um, for a win if the other team doesn't attempt 50 free throws. So it is what it is. It's a tough, tough one to swallow. I'm really proud of the guys in the locker room. I'm more proud of this team, I think, than any team I've ever coached. Um, the adversity we went through the last couple of weeks, they could have folded two weeks ago. Um, they didn't. They fought and they fought and they fought literally until that horn sounded out there, being able to cut down nets and win a championship. So I, I'm more proud of them than I've, I've ever been of really any team that I've ever coached. When you talk about the free throw discrepancy, you talk about some of those numbers that usually lead to it. When you also made 20 yourself, um, just how difficult is it to be on the sideline and watch that, not just the, the amount that Catawba attempted, but how many you guys made, but then a few key misses down the stretch? I mean, even if we made 20, they almost made double of what we sh made. So, I mean, it's it was frustrating. I mean, you know, I mean, I'm sitting over there with four of our starters fouled out, and they've got all their starters on the court. So I, I don't know how to, you know, I, I, there's not much we can do there. Um, and, and so I, 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 you know, at some point you run out of being able to adjust based on, who's on the court and who you're putting in in situations that have never been in that situation before. Um, so yeah, I mean, it, it, you can adjust to some foul trouble and in, in free throw differential, but once it reaches that level, it's, it's just not a whole lot you can do outside of just, you know, like I said, smoke and mirrors at some point, especially in overtime. Who individually on your team would you say you're proud of for their fight today? You, know, you mentioned a bunch of starters being down, maybe somebody that stepped up and was really big and keeping it close there. I mean, I was proud of all of them. I mean, Dallas Gardner is a true freshman in that game with 14 and four and only one turnover. Um, you know, Mari Miller with 15. Um, you know, I mean, our starters played well. I mean, you look at Jawan Carr, 16, seven and five. I mean, obviously he missed some free throws there that are not really typically Jawan Carr missed free throws. Um, you know, Bradley Haskell, six assists, zero turnovers against a team that traps and presses the entire game. So, I mean, 20 assists in that game um, like I said, it usually it usually equates to a win. So I'm really proud of all those guys. I mean, everyone that stepped on the floor contributed in some way or fashion to push the game to where it was pushed. When you step back and take a look at this season as a whole, probably sometime tomorrow or the next coming days, what do you think is going to be your lead thought about this year for your guys? I mean, it's, it's special. Like I said, I mean, we had some roster issues about two weeks ago. Then I told them in the locker room, they could have tanked, they could have quit, they could have given up, we could have lost in the first round of the conference tournament, we could have been on the bubble getting in the conference tournament, or excuse me, NCAA tournament, and they didn't. They banded together, they fought. I thought after that adversity struck, I thought they got closer than any other team I've ever coached. So, I mean, I'm proud. I hate to see how this game ended based on their will and grit and toughness that they've been able to fight through, especially with guys playing, I mean, guys playing 40 minutes, 39 minutes, because we just didn't have the depth to rotate. So, I mean, I will always, I told them in the locker room, I will always look back on this team as, as one of the toughest teams I've ever coached because regardless of outside influences or adversity they hit, they came back and fought every single day. They fought in practice. They fought in the conference tournament. They fought their tails off in the NCAA tournament. So, I mean, I, I will not think of anything negative when it comes to this team because that level of toughness is hard to find these days. Coach, congrats on great year. Thank you for being here. Thank you. Appreciate it.